What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from wifientrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. As you can see, I'm on the open road with my beautiful wife. She's actually driving, so I figured I should just quick video. I love uh, riding in the car, gotta be honest. Talk with you guys today a little bit about what I do when we're on road trips like this, when I'm riding in the car share with you guys what's been going on. So let's get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Alright guys, hey if this is your first time checking us out, thank you so much for checking out our page. If you're just on Instagram or Facebook, make sure you uh, follow our pages. If this is on uh, YouTube, make sure you follow our pages there as well. We'd like to share with you guys ways that you can create your online brand and help you guys earn income online. As I shared before, I wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about some of the things I do in the car. I love riding. I told my wife uh, one of our next vehicles is going to be one of those automatic driving Teslas. I probably can't shoot a video like driving a Tesla, but uh, probably ride in one comfortably. I like this one. It's a nice little, our little SUV. Keeps us safe. Has all the bells and whistles and features and so on and so forth. But uh, what I want to talk with you guys about today, uh, like I said, uh, some of the things that I do when we're riding in the car. Uh, one of the things I try not to do is uh, spend too much time listening to music, uh, mainly because of the fact that, you know, a lot of the music isn't ideal to be, you know, embedded in your brain. You know, we talk about personal development and, and improving upon yourself. Listen to some of these songs to either deal with problems you know, that someone's had, and they want to share that story, and, and that's what people identify with. So that that makes for good music, but it doesn't make for good personal development. So usually, what I end up doing is telling my wife how much I love her. <laughs> And uh, listening to a lot of audiobooks. I spend a lot of time listening to audiobooks when riding in the car because you'd be surprised how much you can get done. The average individual, when they drive to and from work, spends about an hour to two hours in the car. If you look at uh, that same hour and two hours as uh, an opportunity for you to focus in on learning something new, a new skill, you'd be surprised how you can, you know tie in some, some major learning, uh, pull in some major learning in that short amount of time. I, I don't want to mess up the statistic, but someone said that if you were to listen to audiobooks that helped you improve upon yourself uh, for one complete year, you basically have the same as an associate's degree. Anyway, something crazy like that. Nonetheless, uh, I listen to a lot of audiobooks. It's an opportunity for me to learn something new, and I use the audio audiobooks as a way for me to guide by learning, I can uh, pull up something that I want to improve upon, uh, find a book that fits that, and then spend the time in the car to, to learn. Uh, another thing that I want to share with you guys that I do is I also spend a lot of time following up with my team um, I, because I outsource a lot of the work and build the team to build the team out based off the needs that we have uh, at thewalkforentrepreneur.com, and I use this time to follow up with them. Uh, send any emails, any updates, see what's going on. And that's one of the things I want to share with you guys also, and that's the need to continue to stay on top of your team. You know, I'm pretty sure you guys have worked with someone that started out doing something great, was a great employee, always showed up on time, always did what they were supposed to do. And then as a couple of weeks or months went by, that person got a little laxed. And because they got laxed, uh, you, you started to notice some of their work ether, effort, excuse me, some of their work effort went down, some of their, what what you had gone and grown to expect of them, the level of service went down, etc. You gotta make sure you follow, follow up with your organization. I know me personally this week, I've had to follow up with a number of team members to ensure that uh, they are prepared to give the same quality of service that I've grown to expect over the last few months, weeks, or years that I've been working with them. And that's something that you're going to have to do also. Uh, you're going to have to want to make sure you are going to want to make sure that you are 
It's always in control of uh, how your brand is exposed. So you want to make sure that people are doing what they uh, are supposed to do. As you can see, uh, let's see if we get a little shot crossing this bridge here. Hope you guys are noticing this vibration in the car. This is a perfect time to shoot this because I've been trying to talk my wife into <laughs> letting me uh, upgrade my camera equipment to a new motion stabilizer. Hopefully you guys will see that motion stabilizer in the next couple of coming videos. Uh, but this video is going to be an awesome example of why I need the upgraded, updated equipment. So, I've had enough fun today. I hope you guys have as well. I need to get back on my phone and do a little bit more work before it's my turn to drive. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to shoot this video, so hopefully you guys uh, are subscribed to the page. If not, uh, please do. In the next video, I'll talk a little bit about Facebook advertisement. I know in the last video, I talked a little bit about uh, how you can make money on Twitter. So tomorrow, I'll talk a little bit how you can make money on Facebook. So until we talk, take care and be blessed. Peace.